Welcome, everyone, to an exciting broadcast of college basketball here on 2K Sports. Some great action in store tonight, seeing some of the best and brightest young players on the hardwood. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. It's the Georgetown Hoyas facing the Louisville Cardinals. And the thing you love about collegiate sports, the passion, the energy, I mean, the competitiveness and that hunger and drive to succeed and, and show what you have, it's really always a marvel to watch. No doubt about it, Greg. And seeing these players out here tonight, I remember how the love for the game of basketball in those formative years when I was playing college was so invaluable. I mean, the experience you gained with excellent coaching and mentorship at this level, really a huge part of where you go with your talent. A look at the Hoyas starting group. We've got Hudson. Price is out there with Warren. And it's Trice. And it's Randolph in at the shooting guard position. One thing with Freak that we know is he makes sure he gets his shots up no matter what. One way or another, he's going to get his workout in. And that's why so many are confident that he'll continue to improve. Part of it is that he, he has a twin sister who actually taught him how to play ball. <laughs> she helped him develop his game and become the player he is today. P pretty nice to have a sibling willing to help you develop your skill set on the court. Here's Randolph following the basket by Freak. Randolph passes to Warren. Five to shoot. Hudson kicks to Trice. Price dishes to Warren. That's in, coming off an assist from Price. And guys, over the years, Louisville has had a reputation of being a high-flying offense. You know they'll play at a high tempo and create a lot of chances. It's just what has worked for the program for so long. Here's Freak following the three-point basket by Georgetown. To the right side. Here's Rozier, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. Rogier's got his first three points of the game. Cardinals on D. Well, Greg, you said a moment ago, Louisville, a team that can get up and down the floor with great ease on both ends. They like to be Clark the aggressor in every situation. Well, Kevin, you're right. They've always been able to recruit tremendous talent. Not only skilled, but athletic players, too. And it's hard to think of a Louisville team that doesn't get up and down quickly. Now here's Freak. He's tightly guarded. Fades back. Again, the Cardinals score. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it. Good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. And with Freak, he takes a lot of pride in where he hails from. Didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his hand by any means. And his family cheers him on from Harlem. And, Greg, you can see it in this game. I mean, we're all a product of where we've been, our environment, our experiences. And with Freak, he doesn't take anything for granted. Some of the very best players of all time have come from the projects like Freak. And he takes pride in playing for Harlem when he's on the court. And Freak has really come out blazing here in the first half, absolutely imposing his will on the opponent. And, Greg, that's what great college players do. I mean, they control the game and really make the opposing defenses adjust to them. What? Trice passes to Hudson. No, the Hoyas need to Oh, no. Bad time to slip up there, Kevin. They got to stay focused. And, and taking a technical there is the last thing you want to do. That's the new. opposite of smart basketball. The Hoyas shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. You can get on sports from, like, condo. Free throw drops for Randolph, and the Cardinals will go for a different look here. Thomas checked in for Mack. Peyton comes in for Harold. Russell, he's checked in for Sanders. And it's Price in for Rogier. Two on the clock. Harkless, no good on the quick three. Well, Georgetown has been such a pillar of East Coast basketball for so long. Really one of the universities on the East Coast. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. A really rich tradition in men's basketball for the Hoyas. And they've been a competitive presence on the college basketball landscape going back to the 70s. On the court for Louisville. Freak in at the three. Thomas is out there with Peyton. Then it's Russell. And it's Price in at the point guard position. 
You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Joseph with the rebound. And for the Hoyas, they really are one of the defining members of their conference. Hard to think about hoops in the Washington, D.C. area without thinking about the Hoyas. The blue and gray they wear is really just iconic. Here's Freak. He has six. Off the screen, and he dunks it after the pick frees him up. You know, so often we can forget that these players are student athletes. I mean, Freak does not have that problem. He's an amazing student off the floor and is very dedicated in the classroom. And how about Freak with a 4.0 GPA, an honor student in high school, and has carried that same work ethic to college as well as he prepares for his games. He truly embodies what it means to be a student athlete. A shot by Joseph, no good. And you know, the Hoyas only have one college tournament title in their history. They won it all in 1984 and then returned in 85 to the title game only to be upset by Villanova. Georgetown trails by four. In the corner, Randolph with it. Randolph draws the double. And Hodges kicks to Joseph. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. The Louisville Cardinals have had a real strong run lately in college hoops, Clark, even after changing conferences. And the second half of basketball is about to get underway, folks. Welcome back to this broadcast of college basketball here on 2K Sports. Guys, we had a tight game through the first half. I think you'll see more of the same coming out of the break. And it's just going to take one big run for one of these teams to establish control. If we can get hot, this team has a great chance of coming away with the victory. Taking a look at the Hoyas. They've got Trice. Warren is out there with Price. Then there's Hudson. And it's Randolph in at the two guard. Now here's Trice. He's covered closely. Feeds to Warren. Price outside. Fires the three. No good. And it's Louisville the other way. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. It's up a three. And good. The three-point shot. Good from Freak. Freak's got 13 points. And you see a lot of players who are very talented play with a me-first approach. That is not the case with Freak. He doesn't try and attract any unnecessary attention and just focuses on playing his game. Yeah, I like that about him, Greg. I mean, in a day and age where most guys are self-centered and it's all about me, it's refreshing for a player like Freak who doesn't invite that kind of noise. I mean, that's as impressive as his skill set. In the corner, Sanders with it. Now here's Freak, guarded by Price. Freak kicks to Sanders. Harrell setting the pick for Sanders. Just four to shoot. And Freak throws it down. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through it, and that's not legal. Let's the three fly. No good from Hudson. Cardinals leading by eight. Now, Freak, 15 points in the game. Kicks to Mack. Passes it to Freak. Louisville needs to get a shot off. Here's Harrell. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. The shot by Trice. No good. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Yeah, okay. 
with it. And stolen by Trice. And a foul called on free. Both teams will make substitutions. No, but I would like to. There's 154 to be able to play my left in the second half. Freak, he's in at small forward. Sanders is out there with Rozier, and it's Hughes in at the four-man position. Move the ball. Now here's Freak. He's guarded closer. Fires from deep. The shot no good. Good D by Price. Georgetown trails by five. And Louisville not going to change here. Harrell's checked in. left here in the second half of the game. Warren, good. Go. That's a brain freeze right there from the entire defense. Now is not the time to lose your focus. And you see Freak out there. Nobody is 100% sure what position he'll be best at on the next level, but they know he'll be out on the wing. He, he looks so comfortable in space. And with Freak, it's his plethora of moves that really impressed me. He can create a shot in space anywhere and anytime. He's got a really good sense of how to operate from the wing. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Louisville? You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. Yeah, and the other thing that they've done well is they've really attacked the gaps of the defense with quick, decisive drives down the lane. And the Hoyas making a change here. Randolph has checked in, and so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And thanks to his good work at the line there, now we have a two-possession ball game. This is not even 10:30. And here's Trice. He kicks it to Warren. It's good. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Boy, that was a big shot. And that one just flattened this crowd, Kevin. And stunned silence, guys. That's the atmosphere in here after that shot. Now here's Freak. There's the pass to Rozier. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Nails it! And that shot brings them to within just one. Clutch shot right there. That could be the difference maker. Indeed, it might be a big, huge moment in this game right there. And they go to the intentional foul. 30 seconds left here in the second half, and that's an intentional foul. And a nice job in here in the first one, not the one and one, so the chance now to make it two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Big time free throws there. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three-point attempt. Still a chance here, but they need to score. I really agree, but it has to happen on every possession. They need points every trip. And he recovers it, and they'll keep possession. They recover it. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. Exactly. I mean, you got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a five-point game. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. And here's Price for three. Knocks down the three. Nine seconds left in the second half of basketball. And so they foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And Bogan. Eight seconds left to play here in the second half. Trice kicks to Warren from deep. So Louisville wins it. 
They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but Clark in the end, everyone satisfied. Yeah, you know, it looked like for a moment there, the outcome was in doubt, but give him a lot of credit for hanging tough, persevering, and finishing strong. Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan.